welcome back again everyone thank you very much for tuning to my channel i hope that this lesson will impact you as we'll be talking about the parabola now in this lesson i'll be talking about how to actually solve a quadratic expression by completing the square and then we're going to move to putting that on a graph so it should be a very interesting lesson and i hope that you will tune in to the very end and you will actually understand what I have to present. So I hope that you will actually get the concept as I've taken the time out to really outline the, the basic steps in solving our problem. Okay, so let's just dive straight into our lesson. Okay, so this question asks us to express the product of negative 46 and this quadratic expression here in the form of the product of a times x plus h squared plus q. So we're going to solve this problem by finding the values of h and q. So h is actually given in the form b over 2a. Now for q, our q will tell us our minimum or maximum value. So q is given in the form c minus the product of a times h squared. Now our first step in really solving our problem is to actually expand our brackets. So I'm actually just going to divide my work area right here into two parts because I'm actually going to have two workout solutions. One showing um, our expression being written in the form of the product of A times X plus H squared plus Q. And the other side, I'm just going to show you our values for X. So in expanding my brackets, I'm going to keep the negative 46 outside. And then I'm going to say x times x is x squared. Then x times negative 50 is going to give us negative 50x. And then negative 10 times x is just going to give us negative 10x. And negative 10 times negative 50 is going to give us positive 500. So just to rewrite that and just to gather our like terms, we have negative 46 open bracket x squared minus. We know a negative, a negative and a negative when you're subtracting them. It's the same as if you add them and the result you just put back negative sign. So we're going to have 50 plus 10 is 60. So that's going to so give us negative 60. So for the 500, we're just going to have plus 500. So we're just going to go ahead and multiply with our brackets. So we have negative 46 squared. And just to times 46 and 16 in our calculator, we see that that's just going to give us. 2760 and of course a negative times a negative gives us a positive so we should have positive 2760x so now we have to just multiply negative 46 and 500 so let's type that into our calculator so we have negative 46 times 500 that gives us negative 23000 so we're just gonna change that negative so that neg that sign that positive sign really should be a negative so we have negative 23 thousand all right so we're not a positive and negative is just gonna give us a negative so now we have negative 46 x squared plus 2760 x minus 23 thousand so we know we have something looking like this ax squared plus bx Plus C. So this is actually the quadratic, um, the general formula for solving any quadratic expression. So we're just going to highlight that. So just keep your eyes on that. And uh, now if we look, so we can, you know, negative 46 will be our A value. We're not 2,706, that will be our B. And this all negative 23 would be our C value. So having that, now we can actually um, plug in the values for H and also for Q. So H equals B, we know the B is 2760. We divide it by um, the product of two times our A value, which is negative 46. So we literally have 2760 divided by, we know two times 46, that's just gonna give us um, 92 and some negative value. So when we work that out, we actually get negative 30. So our h value equals negative 30. And we are going to just make a note of that because that, that is going to be very important. And the q, so in working out my q, we know that the c value, as we said, is negative 23,000. So just going to record that. 
and that's going to subtract the product of a h so we know that h is squared so the a is actually negative 46 so we're going to have minus negative 46 times the value of my h squared so let's go ahead and work out our value of our q so we have negative 23,000 minus negative 46 times negative 30 squared so that gives us 18,400 so then my q the value of q equals 18,400 so let's just underline that so we just don't forget that so now we can write our quadratic expression in the form of the product of a times x plus h squared plus q so like we said before we said that our value for a is negative 46 so we're just going to write negative 46 and then open bracket x so the x is just going to remain as it is plus h so h now is actually a negative value so negative 30 so we're just going to have um, negative 46 open bracket x minus 30 close bracket squared and then we said that our q equals 18,400 so that is actually a positive value so we just write that back now what we are looking at right here is our completed square so we have just completed the square right so we actually did it in the form of the product of a times x plus h um, squared um, plus q so this is literally um, the completed form so there's just some things to make note of the fact that our a value right here is a negative it means that we're gonna have a maximum value so that means that our our parabola is actually gonna open downwards so that's something very important to know the next thing to know is that um, the value of h so our h value is actually um, at the moment is a negative 30 so um, the axis of symmetry is actually the additive inverse of your h so if h is a positive that means it's going to be a your axis of symmetry is going to be a negative and if your h is a negative your axis of symmetry is going to be a positive so it's literally just the inverse of of what's there so the axis of symmetry in this case is positive 30 and the q value now is going to tell you um, the maximum value which is actually 18,400 so I actually wrote down this information in the paper but um, I realized that um, I actually went below um, the camera so I'm just gonna push up this paper so you can see what I'm actually doing right here so like I was explaining before your axis of symmetry is your additive inverse of h so we would literally write it like that so um if h is a negative you know what a negative and a negative is just going to give you a positive so the axis of symmetry equals 30. so that is the value for that all right so that is just a little sketch right here about where it looks so we look at it we can actually see the axis of symmetry of forms where there's 30 and also there is a y it's kind of hard to see but we're actually going to use a graph paper to show you how it's going to look but it's just something like that so the coordinates now for your y um would be not for your y the coordinates of the maximum value is actually 30 um and 18,400 right so that is those are your coordinates where it reaches your parabola reaches the maximum value so the line of symmetry the axis of symmetry is 30 and the maximum value is 18,400 all right so the other thing that we need to do now is to look where what where our values for x is so we're just going to use this other side of the paper to work out the values of x all right so let's go ahead and do that all right so the first thing that we're going to do is that we're just going to write out this expression right here negative 46 in bracket x minus 30 um all, so that that's being squared 
right and plus 18,400 right so we're just gonna write out that over here now the first thing to do from here now is that we are literally gonna solve for x so in solving for our x we're actually gonna set that e gonna have an equal sign now so we have negative 46 in bracket x minus 30 right squared right we're gonna set that now equal to negative 18,400 so that's where we're gonna start then we're gonna divide both sides by negative 46 so we know at the 46 we need to remove that negative 46 so we divide it both sides by a negative 46 to cancel out the negative 46 and we know that a negative divided by a negative is going to give us a positive so negative 18,400 divided by 46 negative 46 is just 400 so we have x minus 30 squared equals 400 and just to understand that we now need to solve for x so that square sign we need to remove it so we have x minus 30 all squared right we're just going to find the square root of that and also we have to do it on this other side just the same just to keep the equation balanced so the square root is going to cancel the square so we have x minus 30 equals the square root of 400 right so we're just going to have that right there so we're going to also have plus or minus as well so plus or minus right 400 so we're going to have x we're going to have x plus sorry x minus 30 equals sorry this should actually be 20 so it's plus or minus 20 because the square root of 400 is definitely 20 so it's x minus 30 equals 20 and also as i said before plus or minus so we will also have x minus 30 equals negative 20. so now we are going to arrive by our values for x so we have x equals 20 plus we know we need to get rid of the 30 here so we just add it so we add it on both sides so x equals 20 plus 30 that gives us x equals 50. now we actually have x E minus 30 equals negative 20 so that's gonna be x so you know that to remove that 30 again we just add on both sides so that's gonna cancel out the negative there again so we have x equals negative 20 plus 30 so right here we actually have x equals 10 so our values for x is actually 50 and 10 so now we have all the values necessary to plot our graph to actually do our parabola right so we're actually going to look at the graph where that is concerned but just to remember a few things right so our negative a value tells us the minimum or maximum value if it's negative it's going to be a maximum value right the axis of symmetry in this case is actually 30 which is the opposite or the additive inverse of your h value so here now we actually have the, the coordinates then of the maximum value which is 30 and also 18,400. So just remember that and also the values of x 50 and also 10. So let's go ahead and look at our graph. So this is exactly what your parabola should look like. So we see our x value, the coordinates right here is 10 and 0, right? And here it's 50 and 0. So the y value is 0, right? So here now we actually see our axis of symmetry being directly at the 30 mark on the x-axis and in the y-axis we see the maximum value as 18,400 all right so this is exactly what your parabola should look like you can see as well that it's actually open um downwards there's a downward opening right so just take note of all that which is right here so this is really exactly what your your parabola is going to look like all right so thanks again for tuning in and i hope that this was helpful all right so that takes us to the end of this lesson please remember to like share and subscribe to my channel also if you're interested in purchasing my ebook on trigonometry pass paper questions you can do so at thebookship.com you will also find other books that i have published on that website so again thank you very much and i hope that this was very helpful until again, take care.